Hi everyone, I'm teacher Andre from CursingMaryCross.com, where we help you level up and show the world the best version of yourself. Small talk is an essential social skill that is a crucial part of our daily lives. It enables us to initiate and maintain conversations with people in various settings, such as social gatherings, work meetings, or everyday conversations. However, many people often struggle to engage in small talk often feeling awkward or uncomfortable when trying to initiate a conversation with a stranger or acquaintance. This is where the art of small talk in English comes in, providing strategies and techniques to master the art of chit-chat. By learning how to make small talk, you can build rapper, connect with others, and expand your social and professional networks. So, whether you're looking to improve your networking skills or you just want to feel more comfortable in social gatherings. Mastering small talk is an invaluable skill to have. What is small talk? Small talk is a type of conversation that occurs in informal settings, such as social events or casual meetings, where people engage in light and casual discussions. Small talk topics typically include weather, current events, hobbies, and interests. By engaging in small talk, people can build rapper, establish a common ground, and create a welcoming and friendly atmosphere. Small talk is viewed as a way to show politeness and respect towards others, as it demonstrates willingness to engage in conversation and bold relationships. In addition to its social benefits, small talk can help reduce anxiety as it provides a way to connect with others and takes away feelings of loneliness and longing. Overall, by engaging in small talk, we can learn more about others, discover common interests, and create a sense of community and belonging. Why small talk can be challenging. Small talk can be a difficult task for many of us. It is particularly daunting for non-native speakers as the fear of making mistakes or not finding the right words can be overwhelming. Additionally, cultural differences also plays a role in making small talk challenging. What might be considered as a casual conversation in one culture may not appear the same in another. To overcome these challenges, it is important to understand that small talk is just a way of initiating a conversation and getting to know someone. It's not necessary to have in-depth knowledge or expertise on a specific topic. Instead, it's about finding common ground and showing genuine interest in the other person. Key elements of effective small talk. To make your small talk more effective, there are a few key elements to keep into consideration. Firstly, it is vital to keep in mind that small talk is not only about the words you use, but about how you say them. This includes your body language, tone of voice, and nonverbal cues. Second, the ability to find common ground is crucial. This means that you should try to identify shared experiences or interests with the person you're speaking to. This can help you build rapper and make the conversation more engaging. Thirdly, it is advised to keep your topics light and universally relatable. This means avoiding controversial or sensitive topics. By incorporating these key elements into your small talk, you can make it more engaging, enjoyable, and effective. Practical phrases and examples. Starting a conversation with someone can be daunting. Here are a few phrases to help you get started. To break the ice or to make someone feel more comfortable, you could say something like, isn't it a beautiful day? Or, I love your jacket, where did you get it? If you're in a workplace setting, you could start with something like, how was your weekend? Which is also a great way to show that you're interested in what the other person has been up to. Remember, Starting a conversation can be as simple as asking a question or mentioning something that you have noticed. The weather has been strange recently, hasn't it? Or something funny like, isn't it supposed to be summer? It's so cold out. 
Don't be afraid to use some of these phrases, and you can get started on your conversations today. Tips for keeping conversations going. Keeping the conversation going is an art in itself. Show genuine interest. Ask open-ended questions that require more than a yes or no answer. And don't forget to listen actively. It's not all about waiting for your turn to speak. Sharing a little more about yourself can also make the conversation more engaging. When we listen actively, we pay close attention to what the other person is saying, and we respond thoughtfully. Example: I see what you mean. Can you tell me more about that? We can encourage detailed responses by asking a question that requires more than just a yes or no. What do you enjoy most about your job? We can add a personal touch by sharing personal stories and experiences. Example: That reminds me of something funny that happened to me one time. Express genuine interest by showing curiosity and enthusiasm. About the person's thoughts and experiences, I am really interested in hearing more about your travels. Find a common ground by identifying shared interests or experiences to create a stronger connection. I also love hiking. Do you have a favorite trail or location? Reflect the other person's emotions or sentiments to create a sense of understanding. It sounds like you have had a challenging day. How do you usually cope with the stress? Acknowledge and validate the other person's feelings, even if their opinions differ from your own. I can understand why you feel that way. Everyone's perspective is unique. Transition from one topic to another one seamlessly by finding natural connections. Speaking of movies, have you seen anything interesting lately? Take a few of these tips into consideration, and I'm pretty sure your conversations will not come to a dead end. Here are a few phrases that we use in everyday conversations when greeting someone: "Hello, how are you doing?" or "Hi there, how have you been?" When you're trying to discuss the weather: "It's a beautiful day today, isn't it?" or "How do you cope with the cold weather?" Trying to discover hobbies and common interests. You could try. I'm curious. What's your hobby? Or do you have any favorite activities that you like to do? Of course, we can always pay someone a compliment. That's a fantastic shirt. Where did you buy it? Or your hairstyle looks great. And lastly, when we're discussing food options, have you tried the food at our local restaurant? Or what is your favorite type of cuisine? Overcoming barriers. If you find it hard to communicate with others due to language barriers or shyness, it is important to remember that practice is key. Don't be discouraged by mistakes; they are a natural part of learning. To start, try practicing with friendly neighbors or cashiers. Begin with small conversations, perhaps by asking about their day or just making friendly small talk. As you practice more. You will find that your skills will improve, and speaking with others will become more natural and comfortable. Remember, the more you practice, the better you will become. Now, I would love to hear from you. What are your experiences with small talk? Do you find it easy? Do you find it challenging? Tell me more about your small talk moments in the comment section below. And a challenge: try using one of the conversation starters we discussed today. And share how it went. We've covered a lot today, from the basics of small talk to overcoming barriers. Remember, small talk is a skill, and just like any other skill, with practice it becomes better. So go out there and strike up a conversation. You never know where a simple hello might lead. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up. And don't forget to share it with your friends and family. Remember to hit subscribe for more content. If you want to learn more about conversation skills, check out our other videos. You can visit chrisamericas.com for more information. I hope to see you all in my next video. Bye, everyone.